Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Science Boom. My name is Mike Doy, and in today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at how temperature affects the circulation of water. I'm sure many of you know that when you take a chunk of ice and you drop it into some water, the ice floats to the surface. You can see that the ice is floating um, inside the beaker. But let's see what happens when you mix warm and cold water. First thing we're going to do now that we have our apparatus built is put some ice in and around the base of one of these cylinders. And taking some of this ice water, I'm going to fill that up. Now the second thing we're going to do is I previously heated up some water over here and I'm going to remove this very carefully and pour this warm water in to this side. Now what we need to do is fill up the apparatus so that it is completely full of water. So that both of these crossbars are actually completely full. Now what we're going to do is we're going to let the temperatures of both of these two bins start to affect the water. So we're going to give it a few minutes and let it equilibrate. Alright, so now we have our apparatus together. And we've got cold water in this side, warm water in this side. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to take some blue food coloring and we are going to put this blue food coloring inside of this cold chamber. Now over on this side we are going to add red food coloring to show warm. Now we're going to see what happens. I don't know if you can actually see this, but there is some red food coloring that's beginning to travel through this upper tube. And if you notice over here, this blue food coloring is beginning to sink down towards the bottom. And it's now beginning to make its way across. Now, what this model demonstrates is two things. One of the cycles that we see going on here with warm rising and cold sinking is called convection. Convection is the process by which warm things rise and cool things sink based on their densities. Because the water here is warmer, it actually expands a bit. Because it expands, it takes up more volume. Because the volume changes, the density decreases, which means that it floats. Because the water over here is colder, it actually contracts, takes up less volume, and begins to sink. Thanks for watching another edition of Science Food. Now you know that cold water sinks despite the fact that ice floats in water. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Otherwise, see you next time. This is Mike Doyle for Science Food.